Hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel The Light of Grace and this is Grace. It's time for another reading and this is going to be for the month of January 2023. Yay! Happy New Year Virgos! Happy New Year to you! Happy New Year to you all! And I'm really wishing you all the best for 2023, okay? So yes, let's start the reading. This is going to be a general reading, not everything here might resonate. And I do not sugarcoat, just FYI, okay? And if somehow this reading kind of resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that I might have for you. All right. So this is going to be the money reading, the Virgo with job reading, Virgo no job reading, life reading, and these are the gifts that you're going to be receiving for the month of January 2023. And before anything else, before we start the reading, I would like to cleanse your energy, my energy, and the energy of this space for the highest good of you and me. Okay? I'm so sorry if that was loud. I think that was loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. So let's start the reading. What's coming your way when it comes to money? You have the nine of wands. Clarified by the two of wands. The king of swords. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the dolphin spirit. These and that are true. Building blocks. And the four of water. Or four of cups. Okay. Money, money, money. All right, here goes for the with the nine of wands as being the energy coming your way. I do feel that uh, comparing this to the traditional tarot, the Rider weight, this is doesn't look like she's struggling. She does, she does, she's not a wounded warrior here, obviously, right? And she doesn't look like she's in distress. But I'm not gonna deny the fact that there are some stuff in in her clothing. I can't really say if it's a caterpillar or if it's a uh, cuts her neck, cuts on her clothing and she saw kind of saw it. So, but with this energy, what I'm getting out of this is there's yes, there is some financial uh, situation that's going through that cannot be avoided. That's causing a little bit of a problem. Or causing that's causing some issues, you know, but what i'm getting here is that it, it does not bother you virgo it does not bother you because i am surrounded with beautiful you know uh cards in here and with this this with this dolphin spirit this and that are true what i'm getting here is that you know that sometimes money issue will be there that you can't run away from it that you have to deal with it that sometimes yeah you go to you go through the trouble but then also there are some months and times that money is well everything is going well you're well aware of that okay you're well aware of that having the king of swords you are smart when it comes to handling your money you know what you need to do when there is some issue that comes up with the money and and for you yes there might be some issue but your stability and your security is already planted with these building blocks in here. That's why I'm saying you are not easily shaken when a financial issue or problem comes to your situation. And with this four of waters here, she is not looking at, if you compare this to traditional tarot, you know, where this one person sitting under the trees and look focusing on the three empty cups or three spilled cups. Well, you know, this person is not seeing the cup behind, which is being handed by the divine. This one is different. This 
energies and you're looking into this the biggest pearl that you can possibly be which is the focus of her attention which is the emotional fulfillment so what i'm saying here is that you're not bothered by the problem you're not focusing your mind into this financial issue but instead you know that you're going to be okay despite of the problem appearing into your life okay this is this with this uh Two of one, two of ones here. You have you have the handle of the situation. It does not uh, shaking you up. It doesn't. It it's something that hey, I can handle this. This is what I'm getting with the two of ones. I can handle this. I can figure it out. I I have the hold of the situation. Okay, but yes, life is sometimes not perfect financially. But hey, you know it's gonna get better. That's what I'm getting with this nine of ones, which is a beautiful energy so straightforward say it's one thing to say is that you're not gonna have any financial uh, struggles you're gonna have some finance you're gonna you have financial stability but yes you cannot avoid about some financial issue the problems that might arise but that does not uh that does not bother you it means you're handling it fine okay all right Let's go to Virgo with job. What's coming your way? You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Page of Wands. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine and the Universe. You have the Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. Breathe and justice with this justice being here in this pile here i can say that uh, there are some situation happening um at work and with this knight of cups being reversed here this is something that may not gonna bring excitement to you but instead it might kind of annoy you a little bit okay it might kind of annoy you and this annoyance, it's about maybe your coworkers, it's about your work that causes some sort of um, emotional wounding, okay? Emotional wounding. Maybe there's some coworkers or boss that you don't get along, that annoys the hell out of you, that does not, uh, that, that bullies you, that that uh, was not fair to you or doesn't trust you or they think you're you're you don't know what you're doing so whatever this injustice that is happening at work this january or this past few months that causes this it seems like you are yes you are not happy about it but appears to be you're still embracing the energy of the ten of pentacles and the page of wands emotionally it will annoy you some of these people okay the circumstances that you're going through that might be a little unfair it will annoy you but the fact is that you're not good but the fact is you're still kind of showing this kind of childlike energy this this energies of wonders the energy of excitement the energy of being you know fulfilled with your work okay your your job is fulfilling you it's giving you your financial support with this stand up pentacles here okay you have built enough friendship at work you have you your work is your home too okay you have co-workers that kind of makes you kind of treat them like a family member okay but so the, this having this award it does not really bother you but again you know that it's there it annoys you but you you try to keep this uh on the side instead so showing and presenting yourself with uh, with an energy of, of somebody who's looking forward to come to work who's looking forward to see your fellow co-workers you still have that energy 
okay and the universe and god is just letting you know that if ever you encounter some injustice at work some annoyance some bullying or whatever this might be or client dealing just take a deep breath just take a deep breath ground yourself okay and if there is some issues with your coworker, if this is the this this snake spirit is letting you know that it's time to heal those energy that it's not gonna do you any good if you hold on to these grudges or madness with your co-workers okay and if ever there's some someone's bothering you with this justice in here is telling you hey it's time it's time for you virgo to to take this justice into your hand to make this justice come into fruition to show to that person Let's say if they bully you, hey, you know what? Stop it. This is not right. This is not fair. I do not do anything to you. I do not deserve that. So cut it off, okay? And somehow this Knight of Cups in reverse is going to be a Knight of Cups in, in a pride. This is going to help you to move forward. Right now, there are still some annoyance that if you want to get rid of it, that if you want to be done with it, it's time for you to heal them. And address the issue but do not forget to take a deep breath but otherwise you love your work you're excited about going to work your work is your family so yes okay let's go to Virgo no job what's coming your way you have the Queen of Wands in reverse Clarify by the Three of Cups in reverse. Clarify by the King of Wands in upright. Let's put this in here. The Knight of Swords. Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Nine of Swords and Knight of Swords. Advice, kind of some messages from the divine in the universe. You have the whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. Buy the book. And the last one, nine of fire. Virgo, no job. Let's talk about this four here. Okay. So, this nine of swords and the three of cups this tells me that it's not having job really stresses stresses you out okay you're not happy about it you're not celebrating and it's not gonna be fun for you because you're starting the year with no money okay and you're starting the year with stress okay and you can't sleep at night okay with this but or it's just saying that you're anxious that you're bothered by not having any job and it can make you upset it can make you angry and sometimes you would say something that you don't mean to say with this knight of swords in here yes and sometimes you do things that really you kind of annoys people upset people because you have a little bit of frustration deep inside you you're frustrated okay but looking for a job is not like you're not doing anything because the king of wands is still here you're still doing something you're doing something you're not you're not just sitting around doing anything, okay? And that's what probably hurts you because you are trying your best to find a job, but here you are, you're not getting anything, okay? And now, this is when the, the queen of wants is coming in reverse this January. This January, you might not be in a flattering energy. You might not be in excited, inspired energy this 
January 2023, having the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, you're not in a jolly happy mood. Obviously, who would celebrate when you don't have a job and you're stressing about having some money and here you are, you're starting the year with no money and no job. So of course, I can't blame you. Queen of Wands is in reverse. Sorry for the doggy. Let's just quiet him down. Somebody's uh, doing a, a skateboarding or something outside. I can feel it. Rooster! Shh. Okay, so you're not excited about it, okay? But you're still moving forward. You're still continuing it. You're still doing what you're doing. But you are not happy and excited for not having any job. You're not in your positive self this January 2023, okay? The advice here from the divine is to not give up. To not give up. Oh, shoot. To not give up. To keep trusting. To keep continue wishing. To continue having faith. This is a star. To continue focusing on your wish. To not give up. Nine of fire or the nine of one is the wounded warrior. So don't give up. Keep focusing on your dream. Ask for help, okay? H ask for help. Listen to somebody who has the expertise about finding job with this by the book. Follow the the advice of somebody that's expert, okay? But also um having to have having to believe that you're going to have a job. Trust the great mystery. Trust the great mystery, okay? This is what I'm always telling people. Life is full of mystery. Yes, life is full of mystery. One thing, we're in a shitty situation. Next thing you know, we wake up, everything is working well, okay? There's so much thing going on in our life that we can't explain, that we cannot figure out, that we cannot um, predict, okay? It will happen. It's just that you have to think in a more flexible way with this trust the great mystery. Do not just, sorry, one second. My dog is not going to stop. I've waited five minutes and it's still barking. So I guess we have to continue or maybe I just have to speak louder. So going back to the trust the great mystery, life is full of mystery, okay? If you focus on on an idea that life sucks, then that's it. You're not going to feel that there's always this beauty behind that sucky feeling, okay? If that word sucky is such a word. But anyway, so this is just saying have faith. That yes, you might not be in a happy, jolly energy this January. You're not maybe in your best self. You might not be feeling confident about not having a job. Maybe the stress is overwhelming you. This dissatisfaction is overwhelming you. You, you, the, the divine and God, the God or the divine and the universe is telling you to keep pushing forward, to continue showing your, your faith in this, that do not give up, stay focused. Don't lose that grasp on this goal of yours. Okay. Keep moving forward. As you can see this, these elephants, they keep pushing forward. It may be a dry land. It's a desert. There's no water. But they're still trusting one, each other, that they will find the, 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 the destination, that they will get to their destination. Same thing is here. Your goal is to find a job. So stay focused on that goal. Do not let these worries, this, this anxiety bother you. Stay focused on that. Keep going forward, okay? Mm -hmm. Trying to be careful because I don't want to ruin my my set <laughs> okay for various life this january 2023 what's coming your way you have the two of pentacles in reverse clarified by the three of of wands in reverse the lovers in reverse 
the seven of cups upright the six of cups in reverse the high priestess in reverse kind of uh, advice gana some messages from the divine and the universe you have the fox spirit think think on your feet come to the edge and five of fire let me just remove my robe because it's getting hot now hold on all right <clears throat> Having the lovers in reverse here, the six of cups in reverse, uh, this has got to do with some relationship and it could, or it could be some decision making that you have to do, okay? Let's talk about relationship and then I will see what the other stuff, sorry for the burp, what are the stuff that I have to come uh, to show, to tell you later. So the energy that's coming your way is the two of pentacles. When it's upright, this is about you juggling two things. This is about you being busy. This is about you being focused even though there's a lot of things going on, okay? But now we're having this in, two, uh, in reverse. And this could tell us that maybe you are not busy. This probably month of January is not going to be a busy month for you compared to December or whatever. Uh, this also can tell me that um, you're having a hard time making decision about two things, okay? Uh, or making a decision about something. Okay, let's see what this is about. With this five of fire in here, it's the, it tells me that there's some conflict that you're going through. Okay, and I do feel within yourself. This is about within yourself. There's a lot of emotion that needs to be processed this january because i have the six of cups in reverse i have the seven of cups okay and the high priestess is also being um uh and emotions there's a lot of emotion this is uh, this is the divine feminine okay and the lovers is also uh, about emotions too okay so with this lovers in here i feel that this january there's about there is something about making decision okay making decision but it appears to be that you're having a hard time making decision and for some of you you will be making decision or you have made a decision for something that is going on right now or in this recent past about a connection okay it's about connection okay so there let's this if this is a relationship somebody is finally arriving in your presence having this this is about waiting when it's upright right waiting patiently waiting and now finally here it is it's about relationship okay it's about relationship it's finally here but the thing about it is it's a, it, you're a little confused about this one. Maybe you're asking yourself, is this my soulmate? Is this worth picking? Is this worth having? It's like you, you don't know. You, you don't have the grasp of what really you wanted here. Maybe there is a fear of taking a leap of faith on this one. Maybe you're conflicted because you don't know what to do. Okay, You're maybe scared. Or maybe you're overwhelmed about these feelings that you're having for this someone. And then here you are. You, you This January, you're making a decision. Maybe your decision is to go for this person. Finally deciding to go for this person. But there is still fear lingering inside you, Virgo. Now... And for some of you, you still can't make a decision. You still don't know. Okay, because the high priestess is in reverse. You still don't have that inner knowing or the final decision to bring out. So you're still kind of in a confused energy because you're confused. You can't figure it out. Okay. And 
What the divine is saying, if you are confused, if you cannot make a decision, you have to think on your feet here. You have to think. Think, think, and think. Go, uh, go within yourself. Go find the answers within you. Make this high priestess upright. Go within. Ask yourself, why am I hesitated or hesitating to make a decision? Why am I over why am I having an overwhelming feeling about this? Why is it bothering me? Why am I having fear? Why I have a little bit of a reser reservation? Why why and why? The person is finally here. Why there is that feeling? Maybe it's time for you to go within. Okay? Maybe figure it out what's bothering you. And maybe once you know what's bothering you then then you can kind of have an idea where you're gonna ha where you're gonna where you're gonna kind of when you already know what's bothering you it's easy for you to make a decision okay now if you if these two pentacles is about you're gonna be making decision i think yes i know what to do because there is already an assurance here with this lovers in reverse as in yes i made a decision no doubt about it yes there's no more waiting in here i'm gonna go for it okay there might be a little bit of not assured with that but you've waited long enough okay and you're done not being happy with your being single you're done uh dating a lot you're done not knowing somebody's here i decided i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna take a leap of faith who cares about the conflicts okay i'm done thinking about it that's the second energy that i'm getting okay and for some of you that are single okay single who's been dating a lot okay who's been dating who's been going out that has lots of option okay but i think here it, even if there's an availability of you picking you know there's somebody in your present in your life right now that that's willing to date you or that you're dating there is still that missing part inside you the energy of the six of cups okay for some this could be a past love that is still kind of lingering that's why you cannot make a decision because um right now you're kind of like okay you're stuck waiting for them to come back and some is about uh yes i want to date but i want my soulmate and i not so sure if i pick this one it couldn't it might not be my soulmate okay there's a lack of trust in your part I think these are for all, for the three situation, the one that cannot make a decision, the one that is dating but doesn't know if this is a soulmate uh, or not, or this is the one, or it could be you're dating and you're just going to go make a decision despite that you're not so sure if this is the right one for you or not, okay? So there are different situations that you're going through and it's kind of hard to pinpoint that one, but these two of pentacles in reverse is just telling me that some of you you gonna have this final decision this january about any of this love connection and or that some of you you don't know what to do with this you feel a little lost about this you can't you can't figure it out okay you can't juggle these emotions and this things that's kind of sneak up, sneaking up on you this worries and not trusting the high priestess is in reverse it seems like you don't know what to do it's not so sure it's like it, there's no kind of fire within you that tells you what direction you go to there is no compass here <laughs> that's what i'm feeling it feels like there is no compass to direct you to where you go you're just gonna go for it because there is this impatient energy here to make a decision okay
and if, if this is not about relationship this is about options okay that you have to make a decision it could be about job it could be about job then this is telling me that uh, this January you're gonna make a decision finally this opportunity is arriving in your present and it's here now and I decided I'm gonna go for it okay or maybe there's multiple offers of job towards you or 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 offer of job or of uh, business endeavor in this January is about you thinking and seeing where this business is gonna go okay but there is a lot of unknown energies here that might kind of confuse you a little bit because you don't know right it, it's it's about really finding that stable and that stable strong reason to why you have to make a decision or pick this thing or what is the right answer to this specific situation but there's a lot of thinking that needs to be done here okay but some but the the universe is also letting you know that that it's time to come to an edge it's time to take a leap of faith just do it and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out because if you jump and if you don't jump and assuming that it's just gonna give you a problem or it's just gonna make the wrong decision you're not gonna know what if it's the right decision and you are not making decision you're avoiding it then you lose your opportunity but if you're not even so sure, but you take a leap of faith on that, and then you find out it's not the one for you, it could be relationship, or it could be a business, or it could be whatever, then, um, then you're going to lose the opportunity. So try it. And if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. Then continue to the next journey. Okay? Do not let the conflict that you're feeling inside be hindering you to take a leap of faith but yes if you want to think about it as you are virgo you are a thinker then go ahead think think but there is a need for you to go within to really 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 go within and find out what is hindering you okay so this two of pentacles it could be anything so just take what resonate drop that's not okay okay So you have the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. If I look at this as a relationship, because we have two court cards here, the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. It feels like... there is a giving up energy because the two of pentacles can in reverse can also be a giving up energy for me because you know when you have two of pentacles upright this is about no matter what you're juggling you're you're managing you're not giving up on it you just keep pushing forward right but having the having the two of pentacles in reverse is an energy where no i'm not gonna struggle with this anymore i'm not gonna juggle this okay because the queen of wands in reverse and knight of cups in reverse they're they're two energies that are not seeing the same thing okay okay one person um is mad and upset and the other one is annoyed and not trusting with the other person but there is this energy of not giving up on this there's a non not giving up energy despite of the two people not being on the same page in here but at the same time there is this kind of question of releasing it or not releasing it okay so if that is not something that you can resonate the what i'm also getting here that this january 2023 there is a situation in your life that you might stop and think about how you feel with the knight of cups in the world. stop and think about how you feel okay to not just go forward without knowing you really have to know you have to be really confident about it to not let your lack of confidence and low self-esteem to kind of pause the situation and not make any decision keep pushing forward with this to not let the hesitation and the doubt and if you have doubts figure it out 
find the answers okay and finding that answers and not giving up on finding the answers you will be able to make a decision okay but if you are still struggling a little bit these energies might flow towards february where you're still gonna be kind of in a stuck energy okay maybe one thing is that if let's say there is somebody approaching you this january this person hasn't really done a lot of movement to express their feelings towards you here you are you're kind of like annoyed about it you're not happy about it but this is something that you want to make a decision because there is this energy of not giving up okay so i am what i'm getting whatever this may be it's gonna flow towards february okay so let's see what is the gift that the divine has for you virgos breakthrough okay well, you need that virgo you really need that this is nice gift for you to have because then it, it takes you out from getting stuck in this craziness in your head and making decisions and all that stuff problem solve Woohoo! wish fulfillment okay all right and divine assistance wow the divine is with you guiding you helping you trust that but you also have to work with the divine with this in order to find this breakthrough and problem solve and fulfill whatever you wish whatever this that you're wishing for there is going to be a breakthrough and there if there is a problem that you're facing this january there this problem is going to be solved but always remember the divine is there to you available it's present all you have to do is ask for assistance okay all right so this is your reading virgo i thank you so much i'm sending you lots of love and light and happy new year happy 2023 to all of you virgos love you all